There's been a lot of superhero movies out lately, and it's got me asking myself this question. What separates superheroes from regular people? And the conclusion that I've come to is that what separates superheroes from regular people is the same thing that separates successful people from non-successful people. And it has nothing to do with radioactive spiders or mutant DNA, but it has everything to do with the acquisition of new skills. The ability and a willingness to learn something you didn't already know and do something you couldn't previously do. Spider-Man learned to climb walls, Deadpool learned to regenerate limbs, and the Flash can run so fast that if he runs in the right direction, he will turn back time. And all of these superheroes acquired these skills through some sort of hardship or tragedy. It was not easy. Okay, well guess what? Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg they weren't born billionaire CEOs either, all right? Just like Peter Parker and Wade Wilson, those guys acquired the skills they got that put them where they are today through hard work and hardship. It wasn't easy. See, there's this common misconception that successful people are people who don't have problems. But that's not true at all. Successful people have just as many problems as non-successful people. The difference is, Successful people learn how to go around their problems, over their problems, or through their problems, and they learn how to do those things through the acquisition of new skills. You want to be a marine biologist? You got to learn not just how to hit the books, but how to put the books before the bar, how to put the books before the bomb, how to put the books before your best buds. All right? You want to be a marine biologist? It's not just enough to memorize thousands of species of sea life and phylums and classes, but you have to be able to utilize that information like a human search engine at the drop of a hat so that you can be an expert marine biologist and not just somebody who passed the class and is now sleeping on their parents' couch because they can't get a job in the field in which they got a degree and they are stuck paying all these student loans off, all right? You want to be an NBA star? It's not enough to know how to pass the rock and take it to the hoop. You gotta acquire the skills of free throws, the skills of three pointers. It's not just enough to know how to play defensively, you gotta learn how to play offensively and to know the difference between when you need to play each way. It's not just enough to be a star player, you gotta acquire the skills to be a team player. And if you wanna make more money here at BF, what you gotta do? You either have to get an incentive position, which requires you to learn the skills of driving a high bay or of picking and packing orders. Or you gotta get a shift leader supervisor position, which then requires you to learn the skills of Excel for computers, and not just Excel for computers, but you also have to acquire the skills of learning to lead by example, and learning to keep your team focused and motivated at all times. So my point today, people, is don't ask for less problems or less challenging obstacles, because that is never gonna happen no matter how much you hope and pray for it. Nay, nay, that's not how the world works. The universe is never going to say to you, Oh, is this too difficult for you? Here, have a cookie, and I promise by the time you're done, things will be easier. It doesn't work that way. So instead of asking for less problems or less challenging obstacles, you've got to ask for more skills or better skills. Superheroes don't wait for someone else to save the day, and successful people don't wait for someone else to acquire the skills to solve the problems at hand. That's what being successful is all about. You gotta learn how to be your own superhero. So let's all get out there and go save the day. Come on, people.